first of all i literally took myself from looking like that to this Hey babies, what's good? It's your girl Chanel and today I am wearing this Ally Grace wig, y'all. Everywhere I've been going, everybody loves this hair. They love this look on me and I'm not gonna lie, I love this look. Like this is fire. This blonde wig is everything. It's a 13 by 4, 16 inch wig that my stylist cut down into this side part wig. I absolutely love it. My hair came packaged in this cute pink box. Shout out to Ali Grace. They actually upgraded their packaging, which I love. So let's take a look. My hair came packaged in this box. Love it. And they send you some goodies. You know, I got a headband to help protect your lace. They send you a bonnet. Like, come on, gonna sleep with this. Um, I love this wig so, so much. It's I had it on for about five days now. I wanted to get it, give it a few wears before I reviewed it. Y'all, this hair is not shedding. For this to be blonde hair, it's no smell on this hair, no shedding. Like, I love it. It's so soft. I've been getting so many compliments, and my stylist laid this. I want to show you guys how this hair takes heat, how you could easily style it, like, literally. So, look, we got the heart comb just to lay it fire and it lays down so perfect with the heat like I love this get the hot comb lay it down real good look at that fire I love this wig it is so nice look at that y'all see that Nah, this look literally eats. You guys need to shop Ally Grace here. Their shipping is super fast. They have so many different wigs, styles, and textures. Look at their site. Like, they got so many good wigs. But this 613 wig, y'all, it eat. And I got it in 16 inches so that I could do a bob. So make sure you guys check out the links in my description box. And let's get into today's juicy video. Hey, babies. What's good? It's your girl Chanel. And right now, I'm on my way to a photo shoot. That's why I look bomb right now. Investing in myself. Investing in a brand. But I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about how you're going to exit your lazy girl era and really boss up. And one thing about me, I'm a realist and I realize the more I go live on Instagram and show my real self and give motivation a lot of people don't like the truth one thing about me I don't sugarcoat anything so you're gonna know the truth and I, I'm gonna just be honest with you and it's no better person to really listen to but me right now and I'm not gonna I'm gonna tell you why first of all I literally took myself from looking like that to this I literally have taken my income from like 30k a year salary to 30 40k plus a month on my own self-made no rapper baby father no athletes I'm not an escort I don't use I don't sell sex um, I don't use my body. This is literally hard work, knowledge, hustle plus muscle. And it's just, I'm just going to give it to y'all raw. And I just want to tell you steps that you need to take to exit your lazy girl ever. And to be honest, I've never been lazy. I've never operated in lazy energy because I've always been highly motivated. And I already knew my life purpose from years and years ago. That's why in 2014, I was already telling you guys, I'm going to be richer than anybody I grew up with. I already knew that. Um, I already, I know what I'm born to do. And a lot of people don't have that gift, but I could at least teach you ways that you're going to exit your lazy girl era. Maybe you could figure yourself out, find your life purpose, and, you know, get to work. So, I'm going to tell you my steps. So, number one, you're going to need a connection with God. Like, I've been having a connection with God for the longest. So, you know, a lot of people, they're unhappy, they're unlucky. And you know why? Because they're not in their Bible. 
they're not like i'm very strong i'm very passionate and it makes people uncomfortable like i i be on live talking about my journey and people are like you need to calm down you need to humble yourself you can't humble somebody who's already humbled do you know what i do for a living what i do for a living is change lives i motivate people i pour into people i teach people how to elevate their dreams how to elevate their brands how to take their careers to the next level it doesn't get more humble than this it doesn't get more humble than somebody who creates amazing content has built the career for theirself online and then teach people at all levels how to do exactly what I do you can't humble anybody who's already humble you can't humble somebody who already put in 10 hard years of hard work and now they're passionate they're they're, they're super confident because they realize yo after getting laughed at after getting shitted on after people try to play me I'm genuinely in my life purpose my mother bills are on auto pay and it's only gonna get better and better from here and I know that already I speak life into myself because this confidence comes from God so there's this quote that says it's two Bible verses God makes his people strong and and then be strong and courageous and I think that those two verses go over people head like you might see this confidence you may get annoyed it may irritate your demons but this confidence comes from God you get what I'm saying? Trial and error, you know, failing, and then letting your whole life come full circle and showing lies. You are who you say you are. You put in that work and you really did your big one. God makes his people strong. And when you're going through things, you don't even understand why you're going through it. It's God prepping you to be strong. And then that second verse, be strong and courageous. God wants me to have this energy. He wants me to have this passion. He wants me to come on here and talk like this. Why? Because I'm strong, I'm brave, and I'm courageous. You could look up what courageous really means. A lot of people don't have the courage to sit up here and do what I do. A lot of people don't have the courage to fail, get laughed at, and keep going. A lot of people don't have the courage to put on the camera and talk confidently in front of thousands and hundreds of thousands of people. But this is what God wants me to do. And I'm doing my divine purpose you guys don't know all the things that I've been through which some of you may because y'all been watching me but for the new people y'all don't know and, and then you also don't know that doctors told my mother to abort me and that I was gonna be handicapped and that and now she still had me and guess what she doesn't pay her mortgage like look at God he's amazing he's outstanding and he's gonna show you something every chance he gets so you know and then I remember I was on live and I want to tell you that the devil's a liar because I was on live and I was you know so passionate just how I'm talking right now people like her attitude is gonna make her lose customers the devil's a liar my income had tripled that day and I brought in seven thousand dollars for that day and this is not bragging this is it's never been about money for me it's always been about freedom I just want to tell you how much the devil be lying and how people try to talk down on your your ideas and, and, and you still come on top when you have God with you is what I'm trying to say so what I want to tell you is put God first number one because he's gonna give you the strength to uh, chase your goals he's gonna give you the strength to get well he's gonna give you the strength to wake up in the morning like you cannot do it without God I'm up this morning because of the most high I'm up motivated confident because of God I change lab lives for a living because God you get what I'm saying so you know you cannot do anything without God so and then you know people was on my live too Chanel how do you get your confidence teach me stop looking to the world for answers a lot too like baby tap in with God these Bible verses will really tap into your head so number one get a close connection with God you need to be praying reading Bible verses and really understanding what you're here to do because there's a reason why you woke up today it truly is even if you're down on your luck I've literally been broke I've been overweight I've been not having an image I've been laughed at been like I've been there but look at me now I'm like walking at ultimate con and I've been in confidence and I didn't need the money to have confidence the confidence came from within you absolutely need the confidence before the money first of all like you get what I'm saying you you just have to I've always walked in just power like I have authority I'm one of one I'm one of a kind and I've been knew that because the most high let me know that and when you have a connection with him you'll see why you're super unique unique and why you'll you'll find out soon enough what your life purpose is when you tap in so number one you need a connection with God if nothing's gonna work for you when you're not 
walking with God. You think you could get through this life scheming, scamming, lying, cheating, stealing, being jealous, being an angry person? It's not going to work for you. And I always try to tell people when they look at me, I know I'm strong, I know I'm confident, and it does irritate demons, but the worst thing you could do is hate on God's plan. You never want to hate on God's plan because, come on, God sits high, he looks low, he sees it all. And for you to hate on his plan, his divine purpose for the next person, it's not a good look. It's not a good look, and you don't know what people been through, what they go through on a day-to-day to even be jealous. After you get close to God, I love it. The next thing you need to do to exit your lazy girl ever is you're going to need to get rid of distractions, babe. So you need to figure out what those distractions are. Is it your partner? Is it your friends who aren't aligned with your life purpose? Is it you getting high, sitting on the couch, letting time pass you by? Is it you sitting down watching your favorite series, your favorite show, when you could be putting in work towards your goal? I don't watch TV. And, I, like, I saw this funny po uh, quote like from the Kardashians. Like, you're not superior because you don't watch TV and you're not. But to be honest, I'd rather be working at my dreams. That hour, do you understand how much time you waste when you're watching other people on TV? How long is the average show? An hour, 45 minutes? You literally could have been putting in work. You could have been going on a walk to get your dream body. You could have been at the gym to get your dream body. You could have been researching to figure out how you could start that business, start that brand. Or you could have been on Indeed, like applying to your dream job. Like there's so many ways that you could be productive with your time and you're going to have to get rid of distractions and you're going to have to get real with yourself. Like I'm a realist. I'm very real. You get what I'm saying? And there's a lot of people who are distractions. Maybe you're trying to build a brand. You're trying to build the business. You're trying to get that dream career. But every time you turn around, your friends want to gossip. They want to maybe you in the shade room. You just pouring into things that are not pouring into you and you have to be aware of distractions and the energy that's around you a lot of people didn't make it into this new year with me this new season they can't sit with me and you know why they can't sit with me because we're on different vibrations you get i have people around me saying jealous things all my life because i make people uncomfortable like i literally had this one quote unquote friend and i was sitting up there talking to her about my like everything i'm rolling out for my coaching my academy everything she like well um how much is it gonna be because someone so blah, blah, blah. like baby like she really tried to come at me talking about your fans are delusional i think that your fans are delusional baby my fans are not delusional because i built your page anytime you do anything with me your reels went crazy like i i built your account babe let's keep it a buck and i build pages for a living so this is what i'm like that's not the energy you want around you these people could throw you off course you do not need to be around the unhappy and unlucky you do not need to be pouring your brain with the shade room gossip and i'm not gonna lie you could have a balance and the best of both worlds but what have you done today towards your goals and dreams before you start getting into tv and like what what could you be doing are you in your life purpose are you living your dream life to be wasting hours doing something that's not productive to where you're trying to go and a lot of people are not going to want to hear this but it's facts like this world belongs to the hard working this world belongs to hard workers and don't let that go over your head and i understand that we see people living this easy lifestyle all of a sudden everybody makes 10 figures online sitting on laptops no i put in 10 years of hard work to be who i am so there's a lot of people that's gonna sell you get quick rich schemes because it is profitable for them i'm not a get rich quick type of girl i have no idea how to tell you how to get rich fast this took 10 years building a solid foundation so when i'm on my way to literally break generational curses my mother's bills are on auto pay like her mortgage is paid for and it's gonna get crazy and crazy her groceries i'm paying for them like like i'm about to really break generational curses but the reason why is the hard work the effort the time that i put into this this was not an overnight success so you know you gotta get super real and you better be ready to put in hard work hard work like i said this world belongs to the hard working not oh you have a, a rich baby daddy to fall back on or oh you're trying to sell your body or oh i'm gonna do no 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 because no. that's the easy way but if you're trying to build a real foundation that's gonna change your family's lives like the bloodline of your family's lives like you gotta you gotta move smarter baby you gotta work harder you gotta actually put in work so you have to get rid of distractions to get to where you're trying to go that's number two. Number three, I like to say, you know, 
one another thing I love to do to exit my lazy girl era is to listen to motivational speakers. Motivational speakers are gonna get you going, and you already on the right path by clicking this video. I used to listen to Eric Thomas, Gary V, different videos from Diddy, you know, maybe some Jay-Z inspo. Like these people have changed the world. Kanye West inspiration. There's one video from Kanye West I love. Like these the world wants you to not believe in yourself, and that's a fact. When I come on my lives or even this video, there might be people that say, Chanel, you need to calm down, you need to I don't need to calm down. You need to pipe up. You need to pipe up. Like, you're supposed to be excited about who you are and who God created you to be. Like, what are you playing to say for? What are you so calm and, oh, I'm, I like, I don't get it. So, you know, this world is set up to not make you believe yourself. People want you to be uncomfortable with them. They want you to be non-believers like them. But you are of God. You're of the light. You believe in yourself and you know where you're going. So, I love motivational speakers. They're going to get you off your butt. Like, I'm telling you, like, listening. Because there's no way you could listen to some of this information and still just sit out at that point you just really don't care you know what I'm saying like listening to this video I'm gonna tell you something right now that if you're listening to this video and you feel any type of hatred you feel any type of jealousy you feel your demons are being irritated you need to pick up a Bible and you need to pray and if you're watching this video and you're not motivated to get up and do something with yourself you also need to pray and you need to wake up like you do because it's, it was no way that I was watching Eric Thomas I was watching Gary V a lot of these people's success stories people who started from nothing and built real life careers and they gave you their source they're literally telling you and it gets cliche work hard believe in yourself uh, it's really that simple and it's not that simple but it takes work it takes effort to be who you want to be and it's just facts so get into your motivational videos because I'm telling you, if you're listening to me in the morning, you're listening to Gary Vee, you're listening to people that's pouring into you and keep and being honest and letting you know, babe, you sitting on that couch all day, it's not giving. You going into that job playing the safe that you really hate and you're unhappy about, it's not giving. And I'm not here to tell you quit your job and be an entrepreneur. People need to know their roles and be realistic. Some of you are meant to be amazing workers and that's okay. Everybody can be the top dog and boss and that's why I don't sell people dreams and nightmares. I don't say, hey, book my call and you're going to be a multi-millionaire and you're never going to work into a job. That's not everybody's life path. We need great doctors, nurses, people to check us out at a cashier. We need like we need different people we like to make this world go round we need so know your role and play it well but anyway like i said motivational speakers they're gonna get you going and i just love listening to inspiration simple and you could however you need to get your inspiration whether you need to read motivational books you guys know i love think and grow rich the four agreements and i also love the power so those are great books to really get you going think and grow rich to literally change my life so you know just you could never stop learning you could never stop getting information to change your life so that's another thing then another thing I like to do is I really love writing down my goals like you need to set goals for yourself there's an app that I also like it's called any do and this is not an ad like it, there's ways to do like a to-do list like you need to have to-do list you need to know what you need to do to become who you want to be if you know you're trying to lose 10 pounds by summer baby be real what should you be doing drinking a gallon of water a day okay I'm gonna work off for 30 minutes a day you need to write that down on your daily task and you need to do it when you have it written down on paper or you have it on the app seeing it and not accomplishing it it bothers you like damn this is the steps that I need to reach my goals and if I do it like I'm one step closer to my goal you get what I'm saying so make sure you're journaling you're writing to-do lists and keeping yourself organized on your tasks that you need to do to be who you want to be it's really that serious it's that serious to have it written out and knowing what you need to do and another thing I would recommend guys to exiting your lazy girl era it's like i said you're gonna be running to do lists but no matter what i feel like everybody needs to be active when you feel better when you look better you feel better you operate better so listen your health is wealth you need to be trying to work out create some type of routine some type of discipline when you're in the best health and fitness in your life you just feel better when i was overweight before i got labeled before i worked out i wasn't really feeling my best to really get up and perform so you need to do whatever you need to do to work on your image your body and whatever you have to do whether that's investing in a trainer whether that's investing in healthier groceries whether that's getting surgery whatever you need to do i love my investments my investments took me to another level so one thing i want to say is invest in yourself that's another 
first step. So you have to work hard to be able to have the money to invest in yourself, but you need to continuously invest in yourself and take risks. You're gonna be investing into, let's say, maybe an idea. Maybe you're ordering a sample for your business. Maybe you're investing in a consultation to get your teeth done. Or maybe you're investing in school to live, you know, have your dream career. You have to take risks. You have to take and make investments. You have to pour into yourself and you have to bet on you. Like, don't wait around for nobody to bet on you. You know what? Like, there was times I had ideas and I was waiting around for people like oh I want to start this Airbnb I'm talking to guys like yeah I like if you could just give me 10k because I didn't have it at the time and I have just 10k to just start a plan and you know what they did they literally tried to play me they they try to play me like I'm like you know they didn't really want to help me but that's okay because guess what I made it happen regardless I bet it on myself and now I don't own nobody I'm truly self-made there's nobody that could say yeah I gave her through 10k to get that business started I, I just worked harder I said you know what these people playing games all right, bet. Now, if I if I do this, if I sell this amount of eggs, if I do this, if I take this amount of promos at this price, this equals 10K, I, I was right and mapping it all out. Mapping it all out so I don't need nobody. So all I know, you better be prepared to invest in yourself and take risk. Like, you have to be a risk taker to make things happen. You have to take risk because, and you gotta trust God. Once you have trust in God, those risks, they come with rewards. And you're gonna fail, but you're gonna learn and God will be creating you to be stronger, to be on to the next thing, next thing. You, This life just really belongs to the hardworking and to the believers of this world. It's just, it's just that simple. The thing I'm gonna say, y'all, is have patience, have patience patience nothing is overnight like i said right now we're in the era where everybody is telling you oh you're gonna get rich quick download this digital product oh make money online ah uh -uh, baby listen anything worth having takes time so if you're like yes there's people who do have success stories where oh my god they posted their first tiktok and their business sold out and da -da -da. those are amazing testimonies but that's god's plan for that person one thing i do know is on average great things take time to create great things to it takes time to build so do not be in a rush like you being in a rush like life is not a race like who said that it's like this race like what is the finish line like why are you racing what are you racing to what are you racing for you know go at life at your own pace and be willing to have patience because you not being patient is the reason why a lot of things don't work out for you. Like, you you try something one time. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, I give up. Oh, forget it. Oh, this, that. Yo, yo, the, my family just be hating. Yo, uh, uh, like, baby, baby, you didn't even do nothing. You tried one thing. Do you know how much things I failed at? How many businesses I had? Like, literally, 20, 20, 2014, this is what I'm talking about, where God makes you strong and courageous because a lot of people don't have the courage to keep failing and failing for 10 years with no breakthrough. They're going to be like, yo, fuck this shit. I'm going to get a job. Like, clearly, this is not for me. Cle no, I have faith in God. And you want to know another thing that God says? Those who have faith in him, I don't know off the top of my head, but it's something along the lines that when you have faith in him, you could run and you will not faint. You could walk. I think it's you could walk and you will not faint. And then you could run and you won't be... I forgot, but somebody's gonna help me. But basically, it's along the lines of like, once you have God, He's gonna help you. He's gonna get you through all the things that you need to get through. You wouldn't need anything once you have God. He's gonna make sure, once you have ultimate faith in Him, His plan that He has for you, He's gonna show you something. He's gonna show you something. He's gonna show you something big. So, you know, stay patient. There's no race. Who are you in the race with? Who are you in the race with? What are you in the race for? Like, you don't know how long you're here. You don't know, like, you sitting up here, oh, it, it don't work in a year. Maybe you have a long 80 years ahead of you. You giving up because one year didn't pay you off? Like, let's be for real. So, have patience. Be ready to be dedicated because I'll be the first to tell you great things do not happen overnight. So I love you guys so much and I really hope that this helps you exit your lazy girl era. Like I said, there's no better person to listen to. I mean, there's a lot of great people you can listen to, but I'm just saying, like I literally built my life from the ground up. This is really what you call self-made. This is what you call hustle plus muscle and God loves this. I love you guys so much and I just hope that this really pours life into you, that this gives you the motivation that you need and make sure you comment if this helped you. This should be, you should be listening to this on your 
your way to work. You should be listening to this on your way to school. Mm -hmm. In the gym, chasing your goals because where you are right now is not an end or be all. You have a long life ahead of you, God willing. You think like that, you put that in the universe, have confidence in whatever your plan is, and watch how God shows out for you. I promise you, it's true. So, and even when things are not going right, I've been through a lot of bad things. I've been through a lot of bad things. I never got mad at God. I never, it just made sense. Everything ends up making sense. Everything makes sense. Whatever he's doing is prepping you. It's getting you to that point. If you feel like, oh my God, I'm feeling right now. Yo, I hate my job. Uh, you're uncomfortable for a reason. It's time to get to it. So I love you guys so much. I hope this pours into you because that's my life purpose. That's my job. I change lives for a living. And you guys, I'm going to be coming up with a girls chat membership where we get on live Zoom calls and we vent. We talk business. We could even sip wine together. Like that's going to be something coming up. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. Comment down below. And then I'm coming up. You guys do know that I do coaching calls. I'm booked till June 2024 right now. Booked out until June. Changing lives. Upgrading pages. But I'm really looking into building my own online school slash academy. Helping girls chase their dreams when it comes to content. And putting them in position to turn their content into dollars. And upgrading their profiles. And building their brands. So I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next upload.